You got down here somehow, so now you gotta get back up. Come on. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Oh wait, maybe it's easier right here. Right here. Come on. Whatever video I decide to include these clips in, today is April... I don't even have my phone on me. April 4th? Oh, no, no, no. Today's the 3rd. Haley and I are having a picnic. really just trying to prove a point you literally do not need to spend any money to just add so much happiness and love and light to your life and it doesn't mean coming to the beach you don't have to have an ocean or whatever just appreciate what is around you that's what I'm trying to say take advantage of what mother nature has provided us it's meant for us to use to help add to our life you know what I mean hope that makes sense Hey, pretty girl. Hey. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. This makeup just came out like super bomb and I'm like super stoked. You might be wondering like what the clips were from the beginning of this video. I have decided that whenever something cool happens in my life, I want to document it. I think I've been doing that for a while now, but it might be cool to just randomly include things that I'm doing. It, I don't want to just show you guys like my life in vlogs. I want to show you like cool random things that happen to me daily or cool things that I'm experience, experiencing and just like, I don't know, I just want to... Okay, so this could potentially be like a chatty get ready with me. I'm not really sure. Let's just start doing my makeup. This is the Becca First Light Primer. I don't know, it's the purple primer from Becca. I'm taking my MAC Strobe Cream, just a tad. One more primer because two's not enough. This is my Makeup Forever. I've just been feeling inspired to do makeup recently and I think it's honestly because um, I just haven't played around with it in a bit so like I, I want to. I'm gonna take my Tarte, what is this? Clay Stick Foundation and mine's in the shade Tan Sand. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple of lines on my cheeks and stuff, pretty much my whole face. This is very like orangey. So, I'm going to be mixing it with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This one's in the shade 108. I got foundation on my palette. That I, I don't even want to worry about that right now. And this is way too much. Why did I put this much? My foundation is looking so dark. Just a little tip. If your foundation is a bit too dark, using a concealer that's lighter which most people do. Mixing it more into the foundation, it can kind of help to neutralize the color, but I'll show you. Focusing on blending it right where I like applied it, and then whatever's left over onto my sponge, I'm like blending on the rest. All right, now I'm gonna try to get this foundation off of this palette. I thought this was like bad luck for a second, but then I realized that it's actually good luck because I don't even use that shade. I'm gonna use these cover effects like highlighting drops, you know. This one's in the shade Celestial. I kind of blend this out a little bit onto my cheeks, just a little bit. And then when I put my bronzer over top, I don't know why, I just feel like it helps to blend them together better. I'm gonna take my It Cosmetics Pressed Translucent Powder. I'm just using this to set my concealer. I'm moving on to bronzer. I want to try something new. I'm taking my Too Faced blush, oh wait, no, no, Soulmates blush and bronzer. This one's in the shade Ross and Rachel. This just like makes your skin look so healthy looking. I honestly suck. I, I, I just have to use. I'm just going over top of the Too Faced bronzer. I'm gonna take my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette and I'm taking the darkest shade. This is just like a little stippling brush. I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows off camera really quick and then I'll be back. I have a brow tutorial 
So I'll leave the link in the description if you guys want to check it out. I already primed my lids. I used my MAC Soft Darker Paint Pot and I mixed it with my concealer. I went ahead and set that base and I used this shade right here in the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions palette. I'm super stoked. I got this palette a little while ago and I love it because these shades, like they're me. I'm gonna just use this palette today. I'm not gonna use any other palette, so that's gonna be cool. I don't know. Actually, I might use an eyeshadow that's not in this palette, so never mind. I'm gonna start off by taking this shade right here and I'm just gonna focus it on like the outer corner of my eye and into my crease. Why is this mirror so dirty? It's so much better. Then with just like a clean blending brush, I'm gonna blend out that edge. With the same brush, I'm just gonna take like this very orange shade. I'm gonna go right over top, kind of, I think. I love shades like this because they really make my eyes pop and they just, oh my gosh, I think they're so like, like, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and take the first shade that I used and I'm smudging it along my lower lash line. The bags under my eyes are so prominent. I'm just gonna blend this shadow out like significantly further than I usually would to try to cover them up. I feel like this is gonna come out really bold and literally all I'm doing today is driving up north to San Francisco. So I'm literally caking on the makeup to be in the car for like hours. I'm just gonna take this Stila eyeshadow in the shade Kitten. I used this in my last tutorial, so like, I'm just gonna make like a cut crease, like a half cut crease sort of. I accidentally brought that shimmery shade up a bit too high. 10 out of 10, don't recommend rubbing your face or especially your eye with a washcloth. Once I get it like to the point where I want it to stop, I'm just gonna use my finger to like blend it. I am now gonna go ahead and do eyeliner. I will leave a link to like a more in-depth eyeliner tutorial in my description. I'm trying something new today, so I will film it and include it in this video if you guys are curious on like another technique. First, I'm gonna take this Ulta liquid liner. This is just the matte black one. I'm gonna use this to make like the wing. Next, I'm just going to take my Inglot gel liner, and this is in the shade 77. Honestly, I don't even know if I want to use this. It's so hard to remove. Like, this does not come off. I'm just going to literally do the rest of the liner with this. I'm just going to take this Too Faced. Glamour dust. I'm gonna take this super tiny brush. Wait, this is not the brush. This is the brush. This tiny brush. And I'm gonna apply this right to the inner corners of my eyes. And that is gonna be it for the eyes. I'm gonna zoom out just... I'm gonna take my Becca Opal highlight. I used this last video also. When I used it in that video, I realized that I missed it, so... Last thing is lips. I'm gonna take, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't even know what this shade looks like. We're supposed to leave right now. Chris um, Chipotle, thank you. You look hot. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna actually take this deck of scarlet thing. I'm gonna use like this, like, crayon, lip crayon. Just put it on the center of my lips and then I'm gonna blend it. I'm gonna take this lipstick. It's from ColourPop in the shade Chai. It was like ready to go and I'm like pounding makeup on my face right now. We have to go out tonight or something. Am I going to prom? <laughs> you want to get pink 
princess. Whoa. <clears throat> I used to do a look like that every single day. Okay, we're finally finished. I hope that you guys liked this tutorial and I hope you guys liked the makeup. If you did, thumbs this video up and please subscribe if you're not already. If you want me to do more like chatty videos, let me know. Um, like more talk through makeup tutorials. I personally like them because I like to talk. Also, let me know what other videos you guys want to see. I figured this would be a fun one to film because you guys have been wanting me to make more makeup tutorials since I haven't. <laughs> I hope that you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.